Hey, how are you doing today? Okay, I got something really exciting. We're gonna learn how to do this today. Boom! We have a super cool text animation with SVG. Now you're not limited to this. You can do it with different kinds of shapes, anything you can imagine. You have to let your creativity flow, but I'm gonna give you the tools in this video to help you able to do these kinds of effects. So in this case, we're gonna do it with text, but again, you're not limited. So if you find this video helpful, make sure to drop a subscribe and let me help you get more creative. All right, the first step for this is we're gonna open up Figma. Figma is a free uh, app you can download. It's really good and you can do a lot of things in this. So don't, don't think that you have to do it with After Effects or uh, I don't know, Premiere, not Premiere Pro, that's for editing. Oh my God, Illustrator, okay? You can just use Figma and yeah, since it's free, I want this to be accessible for everyone. So make sure to get Figma. Also, alternative to that, if you don't want to use Figma, you can use Adobe XD. So here, we're just going to go up to this frame tab here. We're going to click it and we're going to go to desktop. So we're going to, this is basically going to create us a desktop uh, frame here. So here, what we're going to do is I want to make that text white. So I'm just going to select this rectangle tool here. And I'm just gonna draw a shape here. Now I'm not using my mouse, so my, th this trackpad, you cannot imagine how horrible this trackpad is, but please trust me, if my cursor is going crazy, then it's my trackpad. So anyways, uh, the fill here, I'm just gonna pick a darker darker color so we can see the text, okay? That's, that's the only thing I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, I would not recommend my trackpad. <laughs> All right, so up here, we're gonna go to text, and we are just gonna drag here like this and we can write here. So we're gonna say, I, I believe I wrote designer. So let's write designer here. Now it's super small. So I'm gonna hit control alt so I can select everything here. And down here, we can change the size of this. So let's go 144. And now the fill is black. Uh, and the reason we are not be, not able to see this one is because this rectangle is out here. So we need to drag it in this desktop frame down below the designer tag. Just like that, as you can see. Actually, above my mistake. Wait, all right, what's going on here? There we go. So it needs to go, the designer is obviously on top and then we have the rectangle below, just so this shows up. Good, so we can basically moving this so if you're accidentally moving this rectangle you can lock it here so yeah you cannot move it anymore so now we can work specifically with this text so i'm going to make it smaller like this and just center it here okay just like that um okay let's let's change the font here uh let, let me think I, I believe i use poppins for this so click on poppins there we go Make sure this is centered, just like that. Now, we want this to go white, so, because for my, I guess my final design, which is not really a design because <laughs> we just did the effect, but we're just gonna change this to white, like that, good. Now we're gonna select this. We're gonna hit right click on this, and there is a outline stroke here. Now, when we click this, Nothing is going to appear to happen. But what we can do is export our SVG and we're going to have individual paths accessible. So if you don't do this, it's just going to be one big SVG with a crap ton of paths. Okay. So if we do this and we remove the fill, so here, actually, before we do that, let's add a stroke. So we're going to hit the plus here on the stroke. We're going to change the stroke color to white. Uh, let's do this, let's do five pixels maybe here, and we're gonna remove the fill here. So we're left with this, okay? Now to save this, all we have to do is right click on this and go to copy as SVG. And now if I paste this in here, you're gonna see that we have the SVG with the individual paths. So that's all we need in Figma. We can get started with our HTML and CSS. All right, let's get into the actual project. So I just have an empty uh, file here, an empty HTML, an empty CSS, and an empty JavaScript file. We're not gonna be needing JavaScript. We're just gonna be needing it a bit to get some specific information, which I'm gonna get into later. So here, um, 
All I'm gonna do is paste that SVG in here, and then we're gonna, yeah, autosave is gonna mess everything up here, but that's fine. So we're just gonna paste this in here, and we're gonna open up in live server to see what's going on. Now this is opened on another port, so I'm just gonna quickly close this one because I had the other project saved here. I was just messing around with it, see how it looks the best. So yeah, it should work now. So if I go live here, it should open up our thing and we should have an empty file here because our SVG, if you remember, is white. So we cannot really see it. So all we have to do is go to our CSS here. I'm gonna add some basic things to remove our padding here, our margin, and we're gonna say box sizing border box, okay? There we go. We're gonna select our body here and we're gonna say width 100 and height 100 VH, which is the size of our monitor screen. And now I'm just gonna add a background color to this. So we're gonna write background color. And here, I believe I had a decent one. We can take either the one off um, off our Figma, but I have one saved here, so I'm just gonna paste this one in here. All right, let's see if our thing shows up now. So there we go, it shows up. All right, now let's go back a bit to our SVG here. And right here where the SVG is, I'm just gonna add an ID to this, and I'm gonna say logo, okay? This will be our logo, save. We can go back here and I'm just gonna center this. So we're gonna say logo here and I'm gonna say position absolute. If you need help about positions, I covered it yesterday. So make sure to take a look at that video. I'm gonna say top 50 and we're gonna say left 50. So we center it. Now, as you can see, it's not centered because it's gonna move at 50% here. So this is the middle, but our text starts here, right? And we want it to be centered. So what we can do is actually translate this back 50%. So it's gonna be dead in the center. So 50% left and 50% up, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say transform, translate. We're gonna do minus 50% on the specific element and minus 50%. That's gonna center it perfectly. Look at that, design, awesome, good start. All right. <clears throat> So what we need to do is I'm going to select all the specific letters in this HTML here, in this SVG here. So we have our SVG and we have path, 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 okay? A path for all the individual letters. So the way we can select that is we can say logo and we can say path and we can select a specific child here with n's child. So one would be our first letter and child two would be our second. So we have, I believe we have eight, D-E-S-I-G-N-E-R, eight, okay. Oh, spelling contest, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Now I'm doing this because I wanna animate them one by one. If you don't wanna animate them one by one, you don't need to do this. Uh, so we have the first letter, the second one, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, awesome. All right, so let me explain two things that we need here. We're gonna need something called stroke dash array. And what this is gonna do, if I had 30 pixels here, it's basically gonna leave spaces in our, in our paths. So it's gonna leave 30 pixels every 30 pixels in our path, as you can see here. So here's 30 pixels left, here's 30 pixels, 30 pixels, 30 pi okay? So if I change this to something smaller like 10, we're gonna see that we have a bunch of dots. So it basically adds a space in our path, so 10 pixel space. But what we wanna do here is actually, we wanna get the whole path's length and if we get the whole path's length and we're gonna add a dash array to that, it's gonna look complete, all right? So if we go up here and we're gonna add more and more spaces, then it starts to look like it's getting fuller and fuller. And what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna animate that backwards. So. All we need to do here, so this is the stroke dash array. 
Another thing that we have access to is the stroke dash offset, which all it does, it's gonna move the the position of where the the these empty pixels are, okay? So if I say 50 here, it's just gonna move them around, okay? It's just gonna change the position of it. It's not gonna change the amount of space because we have 200, but it's just gonna change the way it its position. So these are the two settings we need. However, we kind of want to get the exact path for this, <clears throat> the exact path length for this specific letter. So that we need to kind of do a bit in JavaScript. So let's get into our JavaScript here. Let me make sure I'm still recording because I, I, I used to have my, my uh, recording button on F12. So I used to open up Chrome DevTools and it would stop recording. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I've recorded this 20 times. My laptop is garbage, but my laptop wasn't garbage. It was, I was garbage, okay? <laughs> so here, after this, we can actually delete our uh, JS file here. <clears throat> But what we can do is select our logo here and we're going to say document.query selector all. Okay, we're going to select all. We're going to select the logo path. So all the paths in our logo. Now, if we console log this, we're going to see logo. Okay. And if we go back here, we're going to see that we have a node list of all the paths we have here. So what we can do is actually we can loop through this. So we can do, I'm gonna delete this. So for that, we're gonna say four and we're gonna say let i, okay, we're gonna start off at zero and logo dot length. And we're gonna say i is less than logo dot length, which is eight. Okay, so zero is smaller than eight, which it is. We're gonna say i plus plus. So we're gonna increment this. Um, and here, I'm just gonna console.log. I'm gonna do backticks. I'm gonna use ES6 syntax here. Uh, I'm going to do letter is letter I, we're going to say letter I, so we know which one is, and we're going to concatenate again with this. So we're going to say dollar sign and brackets. We're going to say logo I dot length dot get total length. And this is going to give us the total length of the dash of the stroke length. Okay. So if we save this, hopefully I wrote this correctly. There we go. Okay. So it's going to say our first letter has 572 uh, length or path length. Okay. So there we go. We have access to all of them right now. So this is all the JavaScript we needed. Again, we just did a, a loop and we loop through all of the elements, all, all of our paths, and we just got the logo I. Okay, so the individual paths get total length. Okay, this is the one you need. If you're gonna use one shape, all you have to do is just console log the element dot get total length. There, you're gonna be able to get the the exact uh, length. So what we want to do is we need to get these specific ones and just insert them here. So we're going to say the first one is going to have 572. Now, if I save this, you're going to see that our design is full again because the amount of space is equal to how big our actual, uh, how long our actual path is. So it's going to look full, okay? And now if we offset this by the same length, it's going to disappear. And then when we we start animating this, it's going to come in slowly like this, as you can see. So this is the property that we need to animate in. 200, as you can see, just like that. So we're going to say 572, and we're going to repeat this process to all the elements. So I want you to take each individual elements here and just insert them like this to all of them. So let me finish up and I'll get back to you. All right, there we go. I inserted all the elements here. Now, if there is a bit of that kind of thing there, then make sure to add a dot and make sure you add the additional value here. So this is completely invisible. I just added it basically like this. All right, so just so you can kind of have a bit of visibility of what's gonna go, go on here. So down here, I want you to go all the way down here so below your things. And here we're gonna say 
the uh, add keyframes and we're gonna say this line anim line anim okay line animation and all we have to do is say two and we're gonna say stroke dash offset here okay so the position do you remember the position that that thing moves is we're gonna set it to zero which is gonna give us the full full frame of the uh, image of our SVG all right so up here all, all we have to do is animate this so if we say animation and we're gonna say line anim like this all right I'm gonna show you basically uh, the basic and then we're gonna do it exactly how I did it at the start so here I wrote two seconds that's how we want the duration we're gonna say ease and forwards so if we save this and we take a look hopefully everything is fine so we're gonna refresh and there we go look at that cool nice and actually the D looks pretty cool that's not a sexual joke I promise <laughs> so here all we have to do is copy this and just paste it and we can add a delay so here let's just add a delay of 0 0.3 seconds and then keep going and just add 300 milliseconds to this you can change it make it however you want I'm gonna do it with 300 milliseconds just to to be the same as we saw at the beginning of this tutorial so 1.2 1 1 point if if you're bad at math like me here you're gonna struggle a bit so we're gonna do 1.8 and the last one is gonna be 2.1 so down here 2.1 s let's see what we have refresh boom there we go alrighty for our last step all we need to do is add a a fill to this so what we can do is say keyframes we're gonna say fill okay and now here you might have some issues because if you want to say two, all right, we want to fill it to white, all right, because that's what we want to do to fill white, okay. Uh, and up here, we can just do in our logo here, we can just do animation fill of, let's say we want it to last for 0 0.5 seconds ease forwards, and we want to add a delay of three seconds here, okay. So if we save this, it just appears suddenly okay and the reason why that happens let me make this 3.5 seconds here the reason why that happens is because our fill is none we don't have any fill so when it, it changes the fill to white it's like what am I doing with my life I don't know I'm just gonna add white and it's it's cannot you cannot transition from fill none to white so all we have to do is specify here that we want it to go from so we're gonna say from and we're gonna say actually I, I I don't I don't believe we need to yeah okay so we can do fill transparent here so we set our fill to transparent when we do that hopefully <laughs> it's gonna work fine so there we go it works okay so we need to make sure that we set our fill to transparent if you have no fills on it because then it can transition to the color white all right that's it for me today hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial as much as i did making it and drop a subscribe and let me help you make you as creative as you can be i'll see you tomorrow